Dear friends, today as we come to celebrate the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord, we pray especially for all those consecrated men and women, especially the brothers the sisters, some of the religious priests, and also those more so like us. Why? Because we have been baptized by God and we have been presented to Him uh, to be a living witnesses for the whole world who have not known Jesus yet. So we too will be presented uh, as a living sacrifice and oblation to be, what shall I say, to be crucified, to carry our cross. No, Father, the cross too heavy for me. God will supply you the grace. He will give you the grace to overcome them. And no matter how the sufferings that we have to go through, that will be our crosses. And Jesus carries his own cross without the real one. Eh? Already in this particular day. Why? Because 40 days after the birth of Jesus, according to the Mosaic law, every first male born child will be presented in the temple to be given to God the Father. And that will be the time of his circumcision. Huh? The first blood he has to shed. Obviously painful, isn't it? Huh? As a child, as an infant, may not know what's the meaning of it, but he has to go through that. And yet, how many of us uh, a little bit of pain, cry out, God, uh, cry out, father and mother already. Uh, so, let us remember, the presentation of the Lord is 40 days after his birth. Why? Why 40 days? Why 40 days? Or rather, why he has to be presented to, the, to God, his father? Look at the Old Testament. You see, before they left Egypt, uh, the whole group left Egypt, they had to live in a haste. They had to eat uh, in a haste. The angel was trying all the firstborn right from the king right to the beast. That, 40, uh, that passed over. And when the angel did not see the lintel being marked by blood, they will go over and strike all the firstborn male. And Pharaoh's son died. And all those who survived, the Jews survived, the firstborn has to be presented to God to be redeemed. So Jesus followed the Mosaic law. Mary and Joseph presented him. So let us remember, our life, once we were baptized, we have to be we already presented to God. Don't ever say that, you know, my God and myself and I don't have any other person to be submit to. We, our will has been to submit to our God and that's how we are presented to God. So remember this, our life is an oblation for God. Pour out for Him to sanctify us. All our actions, uh, all our will must be in conformity with God. So in the Holy Gospel, Simeon took Jesus, took Jesus in his arm and he blessed God. Because God has promised that he will never see death yet until he sets eyes on the real person of God in the flesh, none other than the infant Jesus. So he says that he came into the world. Only the shepherds knew about it because the angels told them, they visited the manger and saw Jesus as an infant. And what the angels had spoken to them, they saw everything correct. So now, what, is, what has happened? He's been presented to God the Father. And before he has been presented to God the Father, there's no angels around to tell this is the presentation. Nothing at all. He came into his temple suddenly. There's a phrase for it, suddenly in Malachi. Okay, just now we read in the first reading, we heard that suddenly he came into the temple and yet nobody knew. Only those who are there only knew. So in our own lives, sometimes we have been struck by a lot of 
problems and nobody knows about it. And sometimes we complain to God, why did you give me this? Uh, why that? Why, why others get better than me? Huh? Because God will give us exactly what actually we needed. And that is enough for us. And we have to trust His love. He's <clears throat> giving us at the right moment, at the right time. So this presentation is not something that comes uh, out of the blues that, that Jesus and Mary came and present, uh, Mary and Joseph came to present Jesus like that. It's already planned by God, long before planned by God. Why? It is because it is through this then examples will come about. The religious brothers and sisters, they will present themselves at this particular you know, usually their feast. And today, I was in a mass in IJ convent. There are two diamond jubilee who, who <coughs> presented themselves. Diamond how many years? 60 years. Huh? Huh? 75 years. Huh? Just imagine huh, to be a religious 75 years. Before that, the training also. So, how many years? That, maybe that religious could be already 90 years already or even more, or reaching to 100. So let us remember, our whole life is to present to God. And you and I, by virtue of our baptism, we offer our lives to God. God bless us.